Hello, it's Angela Nesbitt and welcome to My Color Story. This is week two of the vlog series, Unleashing Your Artistic Voice. There is a PDF that goes along with this series that you can grab at angelanesbittstudio.com forward slash unleash. And um, also, if you didn't catch part one, you can grab that on my website at angelanesbitt.com under the blog section. So grab what you need, settle in, and we are moving on to talk some more about our voice. So what is our voice? Our voice is our unique way of seeing the world and then how we express that in our artistic um, medium that we choose, whether we're a writer or a painter or what we do in the, in the creative world. But um, it's how we express ourselves. And then also it's, you know, what, how do we, sh well, how do you get your voice? Well, your voice is really shaped by everything around you. Your, your, where you live, your culture, your gender, your age, your likes, your dislikes, your opinions, everything, all that, your experiences in life all come together and influence that voice. And then that voice, it really is just living inside of you. Um, we need to tap into it and then we can ex use that voice to express ourselves in whatever our, cre you know, our creative endeavor is that we, that we love to do. So today we are gonna talk about um, skill building, sketchbook, and journaling. So number one, building our skill. So if you can, if you can envision what it is, how you want to express yourself, you're going to need the skill to to make that happen. So that's going to take some work. So um, you need to get real. You know, where what are my strengths and weaknesses, and and how how can I build those skills and get stronger so that I can express myself very freely. The, the stronger your skills are, the more free and more vibrant and more, you know, expressive you can be in your, um, in your, in your work. So I really encourage to always build those skills. So here's a few tips to, um, build skills. First, practice, 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 and practice some more. Really do that. Um, identify those strengths and weaknesses and those weaknesses, you know, what do you need to work on? Find some teachers out there that are good at that particular thing. You know, it's hard to take in-person workshops right now, but you know, take some workshops um, online or wherever you can. Um, watch videos, read books, really, really dive in and learn as much as you can and then practice some more and practice some more makes and make some mistakes along the way and that's really just how you build your skill um there's really no shortcut it's kind of time on the canvas or miles on the canvas i like to say and you it's like if you're a long distance runner you you, you have you have to practice you have to do the reps um you can't you can't just you know skip the line so build those skills and show up and then next is your sketchbook so our sketchbook is just this amazing opportunity to write down your dreams, hopes, visions, ideas, things that you see, color combinations that you think are exciting. All sorts of things can, can land in your sketchbook and it is for you only. There's no one way to do a sketchbook. It's the way you do the sketchbook book is the right way for you. So really just use it to record things to if you cut something out of a magazine paste it in just it's, it's an it's an inspiration incubator and it really can fuel up your creativity and get the juices flowing and really kind of start to bring that voice forward um if you're starting to put you know all the things that you get excited about in in one place you'll you'll really start to see some help and getting that um, voice sparked up and going and that flame that flame moving and um, so I really encourage the sketchbook and last journaling and journaling about your paintings so have a journal that you can just put by your easel and you really can sit and put down what your intentions are for different pieces that you're working on um, is your intention to what mood are you intending what um, 
you know, a smooth application, rough application. You know, what, what is it about this painting that got you excited to begin with? Is it the light? Is it the color? What is it? And write it down and really kind of really search that. It, just take a couple of minutes and then sort of revisit it as you're going through the painting process. And that really can kind of start to show you what is really excites you and, and what you want to do with your work. Now you won't always you won't always get there. You, you might not always hit the mark on your intention for a painting, but at least you started with one. And likely oftentimes you will really, really get there. You'll you know recently I did the joy and light, joyful light free workshop back in May and I um I had joy and light. That was the intention of the painting. I even wrote it underneath um, in charcoal. And I wrote it actually a number of times through the process. You couldn't see it when I was finished, but I kept reminding myself, joy and light, joy and light. And it really was joyful and light. It had a lot of light characteristics and it, um, it, 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 it said what I wanted it to. So I really encourage journaling about your paintings as well. So this week, to recap, we um, are nurturing and building and, and uncovering that voice by building our skills so we can express ourselves more freely. We are sketchbooking, just putting all those dreams and ideas and things that we love and even you can put even things you don't like in there. It's good to know what you don't like as well. And then journaling about your specific paintings. I hope that that really helps you dive in a little bit more into your artistic voice. So again, this is, we've got three more weeks. Grab the PDF. Um, if you've not signed up for Splash of Color, my free color challenge workshop is going on right now. Not too late. Now it's never too late until it's over. So um, AngelaNesbittStudio.com forward slash splash and also through my website, angelanesbitt.com, you can get to that registration. And um, again, we've got a few more weeks of this series and um, have a great week. Peace.